These are hydrothermal vents, and they are some of the most complex systems in the world, and it's one of the candidates for how life began on Earth. See, as water seeps through the ocean crust and goes deep into the Earth, it naturally gets heated from magmatic sources. Along the way, it mixes with minerals, dissolves, and then it rises back up to the surface. And when these deep mineral-rich fluids mix with the cold ocean waters, they cause a reaction which forces these minerals out of solution, making precipitates. They essentially rain down, creating rings around the hydrothermal vents. Now, scientists say that they've made a groundbreaking discovery about how life may have started on Earth. And it comes from inorganic nanostructures. The scientists in particular were looking at serpentinite hosted hydrothermal vents. Now these are essentially very complex rock layered structures created from mantle that reaches the surface and they cause reactions or serpentinization. These types of vents are really important because they have very thin complex layers of metal oxides within these rocks. And upon close examination of the precipitates, so those things that fall out solution, around these hydrothermal vents, they found these nanostructures. And more importantly, these geological inorganic nanostructures were creating osmotic energy. Now, osmotic energy is something that all life on Earth relies on. The cells and the ion gradients are really important in allowing certain things in and certain things out. When the scientists extracted samples and observed them under a microscope, they noticed that the minerals were actually forming complex nanostructures all aligned in a certain way. Essentially columns which allowed liquids to pass through them. And what was amazing was along this column, different parts were positively and negatively charged. And we know that these variable charge rates are a hallmark of osmotic energy. And what they found was groundbreaking. They actually applied some electrodes to these columns to see what would happen with the charges. And what they found was when there were high concentrations of potassium chloride, it allowed that liquid to pass through. But when there were low levels of concentration, it didn't. Their test showed that depending on whether the chlorides were negative or positively charged, determined whether they were allowed through the nanostructures. This is groundbreaking because this is the first time we've seen osmotic energy being utilized and created in inorganic substances. This this is something we only thought biological life could do. And the fact that we found this at hydrothermal vents gives us even more ammo to believe that hydrothermal vents may have been the origin of life itself. So yeah, inorganic substances can act organic without actually being alive. Interesting. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.